Welcome to Homefest. Thank you for joining me on what is without question one of the strangest specials uh, I'm ever likely to make. I'm broadcasting to you right now from my garage at home. I can categorically say this is the first time I've ever done work in my garage. Uh, and I'm here on my own with just these three cameras. I can show you my view here. This is what I can see. We've pushed everything out. It's all behind that curtain. And now it's just you and it's me for the next hour. Plus, some of the biggest artists in the world are going to join us for their most intimate performance they've ever given. Here in Los Angeles, we're going to go to the home of Billie Eilish. She's with her brother Phineas, and they're going to perform for us. We're going to stay in Los Angeles. We're going to see John Legend, who's going to perform for us. We're going to go to South Korea, where we're going to check in with the BTS boys, who are in isolation over there. We're going to go to London, where Dua Lipa has a very special performance for us. And if that's not enough, we're then going to go to Italy, and we're going to get a performance from Andrea Pocelli that you don't want to miss. David Blaine is here with some magic. Will Ferrell has some comedy for us, and they're going to be doing all of that from their homes too. Because tonight we really just wanted to make a show to try and bring some joy and some music into your home at what is without question one of the strangest and scariest moments in all of our lives. And we're all in this together. Let's be honest, none of us really know what day it is. I'm pitching for a Sunday in May, but I don't know. This is the first time in two and a half weeks that I've not been wearing sweatpants. And I also know that a lot of our viewers might be watching this show on their own right now and I know that this is a strange and terrifying time and I just want you to know that we are all in this together. Tonight is about bringing people together to keep them apart. And in the time since I've moved to America in the last five years, it's really felt like the world and America has felt so divided at times. There's been so much divisiveness and in many ways, in the most unique way, this virus has brought us all together. It's united us in something. This virus has shown that we are all equal. We are all simply human. This virus doesn't discriminate in any way. It has reminded us how our behavior can affect other people. It's reminded us that we need to look out for our neighbors. It's reminded me of the importance of my friends and my family and how much I need them. It's reminded me, if I'm honest, to live life with a bit more urgency, that there are so many small things that I had started to take for granted. And it's reminded me that when this is all over and said and done, that we all need to make the most of every single day. And we may be being kept apart right now, but that hasn't stopped us from joining together. We have found a way to be together in this. We've started playing sport together. We're working out together. We are dancing together. And in isolation, many of us are finding new ways to socialize. Thank you for coming, Chin Chin. Chin Chin, Chin Chin. Thank you, Chin Chin, guys. New ways to pass the time while others are learning new ways to avoid homeschooling their children. Now, we're also hoping that we might be able to try and raise some money tonight, but I know, I know that for so many people, times are tough. So we are saying only if you can. If you're fortunate enough to be able to help, these are the charities we're going to try and raise money for tonight. The first is the non-profit CDC Foundation, which is a charity that helps serve many of the needs that arise during an emergency. And the other charity is Feed the Children, where for every $1 donated, they will provide $7 worth of food and essentials for children who are struggling right now. So if you can, please give. 